Hi class, Dr. Richard here with a quick video to hopefully help you save some paper if you're interested in printing out the PowerPoint slides. There's The PowerPoint slides are a great resource uh, for you. They summarize the chapter and they sometimes explain things in a little different way. And so I recommend that you review them for every chapter. And for some of you, it might be easier to print them out to review, and then you can also take notes on them. You can have them available. If you print them out, you can be looking at them while you read the chapter and take notes on them. So I think that's a great way to work your way through the course content. So we'll click here first on week one. So here's our course map. We're going to go to week one. And let's go ahead and just go to chapter one. This will be the first one that you're going to look at. So we'll click on chapter one. And the first item is a PDF of the slides. And so if we click on that, it's going to go ahead and open the slides in D2L, which you're, you can certainly view them here. It's, I don't think it's an optimal viewing experience, though. Um, so you can kind of page down through them here if you want. Or you can download the PDF and open it in Adobe Reader. So you will need Adobe Reader. So to download, you'll click on this down arrow with the little box under it button. So we'll click download, and you'll see it'll start downloading here. I went ahead and have it open for you so we can look at it uh, more quickly and not wait for it to download. And so what we have here now is Adobe Reader with the slides. And notice there are 56 slides here, so that would be 56 sheets of paper if you just printed it straight up, but I just want to show you a couple tricks here. If you click on the printer icon, you get your printer dialog box, and under page sizing and handling, you want to click on multiple, and you can see what it does now is it creates two rows by two columns, and you could change this if you want to have more rows or columns. And notice right now we're in portrait orientation. We have four slides per page, and there's a lot of white space. So this is a nice option if you want to take notes on this. You can write in the white space as you're reading your chapter. Notice if we switch to landscape, now those four slides fill up the page a lot more. So in this case, what will happen is you'll see the slides bigger, but you won't have as much space to write. So it's up to you what you want to do, how you want to do that. Um, notice we're at 14 pages now instead of 56 pages. So if you print it double-sided, then you're only using seven sheets of paper. And uh, so that's a great option for printing if you want to print out your uh, PowerPoint slides. One other quick thing I just wanted to show you is that when you open your slides in D2L, it's going to take you to this viewer, and here's like sort of a breadcrumb trail. We can see we're in the Chapter 1 folder, which is in the Week 1 folder, which, of course, is in the Table of Contents. So if we want to back up to the Table of Contents here, we can see the different folders. And here's Week 1, here's Chapter 1, here are the slides, the videos to watch, the questions, the quiz, Chapter 2, slides, study guide. Oh, and the same thing about printing the study guides. Um, they are also PDFs. And so if you want to print them, you'll want to download them to a PDF and then open them in Adobe, um, Adobe Reader. And then you'll be able to uh, print them uh, a little more easily. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.